Thank you to Marta. Thank you to the Frank Lloyd Wright Building Conservancy and our friends from Pecha Kucha for organizing this event. Um, I'm going to start by saying the Martin House Estate is a unique and extravagant commission wherein Wright designed six buildings in combination with extensive landscape, art glass, interior furnishings, and decorative elements. So, if you didn't know it, Buffalo, New York has world-class architecture with a collection of Wright design buildings and major commissions by Louis Sullivan, H.H. H. Richardson, Burnham, the Saarinens, a Frederick Law Olmsted designed park system, and unique structures like our grain mills. The overall quality of architecture in Buffalo's legacy is among the best in America. A visionary artist and a revolutionary force in the modern culture of the early 20th century, the young Frank Lloyd Wright found a singular patron in Darwin Martin, who would become a lifelong friend and who would lead him to some of his most important commissions, including the Larkin Building, as well as the city estate and a summer home for the Martins. In the first part of his career, Wright's genius was marked by his vision to create a new form of American architecture based on the open landscape of the Midwest Prairie. At the Martin House, he redefined traditional concepts of space by connecting the built environment to the natural world in novel ways, calling this design a domestic symphony. Built 1903 to 1905, the estate consisted of the Barton House built for Martin's sister, the main 15,000 square foot main Martin House, a glass roof conservatory linked to the Martin House by a 100 foot long open air pergola, and a carriage house complete with chauffeur's quarters. And in 1909, a gardener's cottage was added to the plan. Wright designed or selected every aspect of the estate's decorative elements. Nearly 400 art glass windows or doors or skylights, extensive furnishings, both freestanding and built-in, light fixtures, statuary, Japanese prints, and a spectacular glass mosaic fireplace were all part of Wright's integrated design approach. And while Wright's design was enjoined by the Martins for more than 30 years after the death of Darwin Martin in 1935, the Martin House stood empty for nearly two decades. The site deteriorated badly, becoming a symbol of neglect. And in the early 1960s, the pergola, conservatory, and carriage house were demolished. Adding insult to injury, a three building apartment complex was constructed, shown here with white roofs, basically in between the Martin and Barton houses. But in the early 1990s, our community summoned the will to begin the long process to reacquire, reassemble, and restore the entire original one and a half acre historic site, an impossible or an improbable project to say the least. Our first phase was to replace roof and gutter systems. After an investment of nearly $2 million and two years of work, the roof systems on the Martin and the Barton houses were restored just in time for the 1997 Frank Lloyd Wright Building Conservancy's visit to Buffalo. Phase two, undertaken in 2003 through 2004, focused on foundation and drainage work at the Martin House, costing nearly three quarters of a million dollars. Not very glamorous, especially in terms of fundraising. That's all I can say. Phase three, which is gonna be the next slide, I can't believe I'm faster than the slides, lasted from 2004 through 2006, and it saw the reconstruction of the pergola, the conservatory, and the carriage house, with a price tag of about $8 million. Recreating these structures was essential to the uh, interpretation of Wright's genius for the integration of buildings and landscape, and his ability to open spaces one into another. Phase four, 2007 and 08, focused on exterior restoration of the Martin House masonry and mortar at a nearly $5 million cost. We also removed a non-historic addition to the building and repositioned an exterior wall that had been remodeled over time. And then we went to phase five. It was an $11 million scope of work lasting over five years to update all mechanical systems of the Martin House, thus creating a museum quality environment. This phase also saw the restoration of extensive woodwork, plaster and color washes, as well as the return of the restored original furnishings designed by Wright. The massive four-sided glass mosaic surrounding the central fireplace was also replicated to include more than 15,000 handmade pieces interspersed with just about a few dozen original pieces of the remaining mosaic. You can see rugged brown trunks intertwined as they spread over the mantel and piers with green shimmering leaves cascading into pure gold blossoms. The next work in 2017 and 18 was the Barton House, also meticulously restored. This building is one of Wright's most intact historic structures, and it's a perfect example of a middle-class home that includes significant original art glass, 
light fixtures, and built-in furnishings, all designed by Wright. And an award-winning design for our visitor center by Toshiko Mori Architect brings a 21st century sensibility to Wright's theory of organic architecture. Expanding on his concept of harmony with nature, a transparent glass pavilion is integrated into the landscape adjacent to the historic site to provide guest services and interpretation. In combination with the architecture and interior design elements, the Martin House landscape is the third element of Wright's organic vision. A rehabilitation of the lost landscape was recently completed based on extensive research utilizing Wright's original plans, historic photos, and written documentation. This $2 million project included the, the, included the planting of about 8,000 flowers, plants, trees, and shrubs on the one and a third acre site. The treatment maintains all the individual components of Wright's original design, thus creating rooms in outdoor settings, and maintains the visual and spatial characteristics of the historic landscape. If you didn't know it, Buffalo it is a tipping point as a destination market for arts and architecture. The Martin House is widely viewed as the centerpiece of architectural tourism and a symbol of our community's renaissance. Beyond preserving a world-renowned national historic landmark, the restored Martin House demonstrates how preservation investments can create significant economic impact. In closing, you have to experience it to believe it. Please do plan a visit to the Martin House in Buffalo, New York. But until that time, we invite you to enjoy the virtual tours of the many special spaces on the estate that can be found on our social media profiles through the Right Virtual Visits program.